So, how are you all? Hope you all are well in this COVID-19 pandemic time. So, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the obstetric instrument which are used in operation theater. Hope you will like this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel that is all about medical. So, subscribe the channel, share and like the videos. Let's start the video with our first instrument that is amni hook so as you all are watching that this image is of amni hook it is used to perform artificial rupture of membrane and you can also call it as amniotic membrane perforator so our next instrument is iris spatula it is a device used in pap smear as you all are watching that it is a wooden spatula with u-shaped opening on one side and flat surface on another side it is a its broad end is for vaginal sample collection and the narrow end is for cervical sample collection so this is about iris spatula and the next instrument is artery forcep that is straight and stay suture cuffed and hemosta artery forcep is also called as hemostatic forcep or clamp it has a straight with locking ratchet and strong grip it is used for clamping blood vessels or tissue to prevent their rupture during the surgical procedure so this is the image of instrument named band applicator it is used for the btl btl is bilateral tubal ligation it is used for applying celestic bands to fallopian tubes in laparoscopic tubal ligation during tubal ligation, a 2 to 3 cm segment of fallopian tube is drawn inside a narrow cone shaped applicator. So this is the figure of the tubal ligation. You can see very clearly in figure A that how the band applicator holding fallopian tube and in figure B you can see the loop of tube grasping hook celestic band and of course in figure c one centimeter loop of tube and the celestic band so this is all about the band applicator this is the image of babcock's forcep it is mainly used to grasp the delicate tissues and in obstetrics it is mainly used to grasp tubular structures like fallopian tube and now this is the bladder sound instrument it is used to measure the bladder length this is cervical brush it is used in pap smear pap smear is a routine screening procedure for cervical cancer cervical brush is used to take sample from the cervix so this is a cuscos speculum, self-retaining double-bladed vaginal speculum. It is used for vaginal and cervical examination. As you can see that it has a jaw that open up like a duck bill. Now with the help of this figure, you can clearly appreciate that how the cuscos instrument or speculum look like when it inserted into the vagina so before talking about this instrument I just want to tell you that don't skip the video if you really want to get important information from this video so watch the video till the end so let's start about this instrument this instrument is combined uterine manipulator and cannula for laparoscopy Uterine manipulation is essential for laparoscopic procedure involving dissection of 
female pelvis. So this is the Doyne's retractor. It is used to retract bladder during LSCS and hysterectomy. Hysterectomy as we all know that it is a removal of uterus. So this is the Devers retractor. As you can see in figure very clearly, it is a thin flat instrument with curved end. Curved end of the retractor are placed at the edges of the incision and held there by hand or clamped into place. It is used for retraction of deep structures. It is used in thoracic and abdominal surgery for holding back muscles, tissues and bones. And our next instrument is episiotomy scissor. It is used in episiotomy. These scissors are designed to facilitate the performance of episiotomy to reduce the amount of blood loss, to judge better the extent of incision necessary and to protect the fetal head. So this is all about episiotomy scissor. So we are very familiar with this figure or this picture. Yes, it is Foley's catheter. It is used for drainage of urine during the induction of labor. This is the figure of green armitage forcep. It is used as a hemostat in caesarean operations. So our next instrument is Hager's dilator. It is the instrument which is used to dilate the cervix. It is used in the procedure like DNC. DNC is dilatation and curettage. And this is the caucus forcep used to hold pedicles in hysterectomy, mainly in gyneco gynecological um, operations. And uh, it is also used for the holding tissues during operations or for compressing bleeding tissues. These are Scarman's syringes. These are used for menstrual regulation and endometrial aspiration. So this is the needle holder and it is used to grasp needle during sutures. As you can see the picture very clearly, this is the Leach Wilkinson's cannula. It is used in tubal patency test like SHSG. The tip is screwed through cervix, then dye is injected. So this is the Leach Wilkinson's cannula. This instrument is ovum holding forcep. It is used to remove POC in miscarriage. Full form of POC is product of conception. It is also used to remove placental fragments inside the uterus. Our next instrument is Pinard's fetal stethoscope. It is used to auscultate fetal heart. As you can see very clearly that it is a hollow horn made up of metal about 8 inches long. This instrument has two ends. One end is called as oral end and the second end is called as abdominal end. As you can see in this picture that this is the correct way of using this Pinard stethoscope. This is paper. It is used to take endometrial sample. So this is the Robin's cannula. It is used for the tubal patency test for infertility like HSG. It is also used to know whether the fallopian tubes in human females are occluded or not. This is the image of the right angle retractor. It is also used to retract the tissues, muscles, etc. And this is the Sims anterior vaginal wall retractor. It is used together with Sims speculum useful in case of cystocele. This is a sponge holder. It is used for holding sponge or gauze piece for painting the area before operation. This is the suction curate instrument which is used for the first trimester MTP suction of vesicular mole. This is trocar and cannula used during laparoscopy. This is the image of the umbilical cord clamp. It is used to clamp the umbilical cord. 
and this is the umbilical cord scissor with the help of the scissor cutting of umbilical cord is done this is the image of the uterine curate used for scraping endometrial cavity to obtain sample for histopathology so this is the uterine sound it is mainly used to measure the uterine length and this is the t inaculum instrument which is used for grasping the cervix usually interior lip of the cervix is grasped with the help of this instrument we all are familiar with this picture also it is a valsalam it is used for the grasping the cervix it is also usually used to grasp the interior lip of the cervix this is the image of the various needle it is used for creating pneumoperitoneum putting air or co2 means carbon dioxide in the peritoneal cavity for laparoscopy this is the image of wrigley's forcep it is used in low or outlet deliveries so with the help of this figure you can see very clearly how this wrigley's forcep used in the childbirth so this is my end screen by touching on my channel logo you can subscribe my channel and uh, i just want to tell you that share and like my videos and don't forget to comment on my videos